Hi there. So this is a project I've been working on for a little while. It is a Bluetooth Low Energy RFID reader. And uh, there's, a, there's an antenna in this end and a bunch of circuitry in this end um, that you can read these sort of um, RFID tags that uh, one would typically put in the ear of cattle, like cows um, or sheep or goats or something. Uh, and so this uh, this is an Adafruit Feather M0 on the inside um, with some some batteries and a nice little power switch on the back, a little a little scanning control button on the front. Um, and I've also done something a little bit different in that the app that this interacts with is actually a web app. It uses one of the latest HTML5 APIs called Web Bluetooth. So it's able to connect directly to this device and read values directly off of it. So we're gonna show how that works right now. Uh, so first things first, I'm gonna turn it on and uh, after a little bit you get a startup sound. And there it is. And now I'm gonna move the camera into view of the tag that I have here. And we just sort of point the stick and scan it. Well, first I have to connect to the device. That's a good point. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna mount my camera right here so you can see the screen. And we connect and it comes up and it says, what do you wanna to connect to? And uh, I have it filtered so that it's really only going to provide the one object that I want it to be. And we pair and then we go through a pairing process and now we're connected. And, uh, and so as I, as I work with this, if, I, if you can see, I press the button down and then the UI kind of actually updates to go along with it. So it says scanning, nothing. And then once I get that tag in view, the values pop up. And so then this system has an interface for being able to confirm or deny whether or not the tag is valid. Uh, this is to work along with a database application. Um, you wouldn't you wouldn't normally have these buttons in an application, but this is this is a little easier than having built out a whole database of tag values um, from just for this test. So you can confirm, or you can deny, and that gives you feedback as to whether or not, um, say, a particular animal that you've scanned is already in your database. Uh, if it's not, then maybe you want to go through the process of, of setting it up just after scanning it so that you don't lose any data. And then we can let go of the button and, uh, and then scan again. And that one's good. That one's good. That one's good. That one's bad. You know, something like that. Uh, and then once you have some values, you can select it and copy it and, and then maybe paste it out to a different file uh, or a different database or maybe an email address, um, whatever works for you. Uh, and then one final feature is if I, if I switch this off, we see that it notices that it lost the connection and then it retries and I haven't turned it back on yet so it's going to fail so I'm going to turn it back on oh it found it and it's setting back up there's the power on sound it's trying to start up is this it no it doesn't like that well perhaps I have a small bug Connection lost, retrying. It's a little bit janky to can reconnect to a device. Uh, things sort of, things get a little crazy. Failed, connected. But then I guess eventually, eventually everything works. Look at that. If you just keep retrying, those didn't work. 
scanning is the scan button is working not the confirm or deny um, but it should be fine to just refresh the page reconnect yep as long as we come back everything is fine Okay, that's it.